The Unassuming Monster. The Horrific Case of Tamara Samsonova, St. Petersburg, Russia. A seemingly ordinary woman named Tamara Samsonova lived a quiet life, but beneath the surface lurked a darkness no one could have imagined. In 2015, a gruesome discovery shattered the city's peace, leading to a trail of disturbing revelations and a chilling realization. The sweet old lady was a monster. A Descent into Darkness Tamara's story began unremarkably. Born in 1947, she navigated the early years of her life with relative normalcy. After graduating, she married her love, Alexei. They settled into a comfortable life, their modest apartment in St. Petersburg a testament to their shared dreams. To their neighbors, they were a pleasant, unassuming couple, always polite, if somewhat reserved. However, in 2000, Alexei vanished. Tamara's nonchalant explanation, he ran off with another woman, raised eyebrows. But with no evidence of foul play, the case went cold. The neighbors whispered, but there was little to be done without proof. Tamara continued with her life, albeit now shrouded in a loneliness that seemed to gnaw at her very soul. Loneliness gnawed at Tamara. She started taking in lodgers, offering them a place to stay for a modest fee. Yet these arrangements were brief, often marred by arguments and unexplained departures. One such tenant, Sergei Potvayin, mysteriously disappeared in 2003. Unbeknownst to everyone, Tamara's hospitality masked a horrifying truth. Her need for companionship had taken a sinister turn. The facade crumbles fast forward to 2015. Tamara, now a septuagenarian, decided to renovate her apartment. She moved in with Valentina Ulanova, a kind neighbor who took pity on the elderly woman. Initially, the arrangement seemed to work, but soon the veneer of normalcy cracked. Arguments erupted over trivial matters, escalating in intensity. What transpired next was beyond anyone's darkest nightmares. Fueled by a dark impulse, Tamara drugged and dismembered Valentina. The methodical nature of her actions was chilling. A dog walker discovered a dismembered torso wrapped in a shower curtain, and the trail led straight to Tamara. The sweet old lady had revealed herself to be a cold-blooded killer. Confessions and a diary of horror faced with the police, Tamara did the unthinkable, she confessed. The chilling details she provided, the drugged salad, the dismemberment, the boiling of body parts, painted a picture of a deranged mind. Her calm demeanor as she recounted the grisly acts was unnerving. But the true scope of her evil unfolded with the discovery of her diary. Meticulously written in Russian and German, it chronicled a dozen murders spanning years. Each entry, filled with mundane details and macabre descriptions, revealed a woman who meticulously planned and executed her crimes, finding a twisted satisfaction in her dark deeds. Nicknames and nightmares. The media went into a frenzy. Granny Ripper, they called her, drawing eerie parallels to Jack the Ripper. The diary's mention of cannibalism fueled speculation, earning her the moniker Baba Yaga, a mythological Slavic witch who devoured her victims. The sensationalist press painted her as a modern-day monster, a figure of nightmares hiding behind the mask of a benign elderly woman. Cold cases unearthed Tamara's past, came under intense scrutiny. Sergei's long cold case found a horrific answer. His dismembered torso, discovered in 2003, was finally linked to Tamara. As investigators delved deeper, more cases were unearthed. Each revealed a pattern. Lodgers, transient individuals, and acquaintances who vanished without a trace. The quiet corridors of her apartment building had become a hunting ground for a predator hidden in plain sight. One victim, Volodya, miraculously survived her poisoning attempt but remained unidentified. His story, a chilling testament to her cruelty, added another layer to the unfolding horror. Alexei's fate, a lingering suspicion. The question of Alexei loomed large. Had Tamara become a murderer even before her documented crimes? The lack of information in her diary about Alexei fueled the suspicion, leaving a chilling uncertainty. Was her husband her first victim? 
the catalyst that set her on a path of darkness? The mystery of Alexei's fate cast a long shadow over the entire investigation, a puzzle piece that might never be found, a mind unraveling. Why? The motive behind Tamara's actions remained a horrifying puzzle. Psychological evaluations revealed a chilling answer, schizophrenia. She claimed a monster in her head compelled her acts, a claim bolstered by her history of hospitalizations. Yet, there was more to the story. A dark fascination with black magic, occult rituals, and cannibalistic killers like Andre Chikatilo added another layer to the mystery. Tamara's obsession with the macabre seemed to fuel her actions, blurring the line between fantasy and reality. Her diary entries, filled with cryptic symbols and references to occult practices, painted a picture of a woman deeply entrenched in a world of darkness. The mundane details of her daily life intertwined with her gruesome acts, creating a chilling tapestry of horror. The legacy of evil Tamara's case exposed the terrifying truth that evil can lurk in the most unexpected places. It serves as a stark reminder that appearances can be deceiving and the line between sanity and madness can be frighteningly blurred. The quiet life of St. Petersburg was shattered, forever marked by the horrifying deeds of the unassuming monster, Tamara Samsonova. In the aftermath, the community grappled with the trauma of discovering that one of their own had committed such unspeakable acts. The facade of normalcy had been irreparably shattered, leaving a scar on the collective psyche of the city. The sweet old lady who had once been a part of their everyday lives was now a symbol of unthinkable horror. Residents who had once exchanged pleasantries with her at the local market found themselves questioning their judgment, their sense of safety, irreversibly compromised. The media frenzy that followed further intensified the fear and confusion with reporters delving into every aspect of her life in search of answers that remained elusive. The image of Tamara, the kindly old woman, was now juxtaposed with the gruesome details of her crimes, creating a dissonance that was difficult to reconcile. The unsolvable enigma. Despite her confessions and the evidence, many questions remain unanswered. What drove Tamara to such extremes? Was it purely the result of mental illness, or was there a deeper, more sinister force at play? The lack of definitive answers adds to the enigma of her case, leaving both investigators and the public haunted by the unknown. One theory posits that her actions were driven by severe psychological disorders, exacerbated by isolation and a lifetime of untreated mental health issues. However, the presence of occult symbols and rituals in her diary entry suggests that she might have believed she was part of something larger and more malevolent. This duality between the rational explanations of mental illness and the irrational fear of the supernatural adds a layer of complexity that keeps her story in the public imagination. Forensic psychologists have pored over her writings, attempting to decode the symbols and references to occult practices. Some believe these were delusions born of her mental state, while others argue that they could point to a genuine belief in and practice of dark rituals. The idea that she might have been attempting to summon or appease otherworldly entities adds a chilling dimension to her crimes, suggesting that she saw herself as a participant in a grander, more sinister narrative. A Glimpse into Darkness Interviews with neighbors and acquaintances reveal a woman who was both charming and reclusive. She had a knack for making people feel at ease, yet there was always an underlying sense of something being off. Those who visited her apartment often spoke of an unsettling atmosphere with odd trinkets and strange symbols adorning the walls. It was as if Tamara lived in a world of her own, a world that was only fully revealed in the aftermath of her arrest. Her daily routine appeared ordinary at first glance. She would visit the local market, engage in small talk with vendors, and tend to her plants. Yet beneath this veneer of normalcy lay a dark obsession. Her diary entries provide a window into her mind, revealing a woman who was constantly battling inner demons. The cryptic symbols and references to the occult suggests that she sought solace in rituals and beliefs that were far removed from the reality of those around her. 
The role of the media. The media played a significant role in shaping public perception of Tamara Samsonova. Sensational headlines and graphic descriptions of her crimes dominated the news cycle, turning her into a figure of morbid fascination. Documentaries and true crime shows further fed this interest, with experts and armchair detectives alike offering their theories on what drove her to commit such heinous acts. This media portrayal has a dual effect. On one hand, it keeps the memory of her crimes alive, ensuring that her story is not forgotten. On the other hand, it can often distort the reality of who she was and what she did, turning her into a caricature of evil rather than a complex individual with a deeply troubled psyche. The constant coverage can also be re-traumatizing for the victim's families in the community, forcing them to relive the horror over and over again. The Psychological Puzzle Understanding Tamara's psyche is a daunting task. Her actions suggest a complete detachment from the moral and ethical norms that govern society. The gruesome nature of her crimes indicates a profound lack of empathy, which is often a hallmark of severe personality disorders. Yet, there are moments in her diary that hint at a person who was deeply tormented by her own actions, suggesting a conflict between her compulsions and any remnants of a moral compass. Forensic psychologists have attempted to piece together her psychological profile, but the answers remain elusive. Was she a psychopath, completely devoid of empathy? Or was she suffering from a more complex set of disorders that caused her to oscillate between lucidity and madness? The presence of occult practices adds another layer of mystery, as it is unclear whether these were genuine beliefs or delusions stemming from her mental state. The Impact on Criminal Psychology Tamara Samsonova's case has had a significant impact on the field of criminal psychology. It has prompted discussions about the nature of evil, the interplay between mental illness and criminal behavior, and the ways in which societal factors can influence an individual's actions. Her case is often cited in academic papers and studies as a prime example of the complexities involved in understanding and profiling criminals. Experts have called for a more nuanced approach to criminal psychology, one that considers the myriad factors that can contribute to such extreme behavior. This includes a greater focus on early intervention and mental health support, as well as a better understanding of how isolation and societal pressures can exacerbate underlying issues. Tamara's story serves as a stark reminder of the importance of addressing mental health issues before they manifest in such devastating ways. The Aftermath In the years since her arrest, Tamara Samsonova has remained a subject of fascination and fear. Her case has been the subject of numerous books, documentaries, and even fictionalized accounts. Each retelling adds another layer to the enigma, ensuring that her story continues to captivate and horrify. For the residents of St. Petersburg, the wounds are still raw. The memory of her crimes lingers, casting a shadow over the city. Efforts to move on have been hampered by the constant reminders in the media and the continued interest in her case. Yet there is also a sense of resilience, a determination to reclaim their sense of safety and normalcy. Conclusion Tamara Samsonova, the unassuming monster, remains an unsettling reminder of the darkness that can hide behind the most ordinary of facades. Her story filled with horror and mystery, continues to captivate and horrify those who dare to delve into its depths. It is a tale that challenges our understanding of human nature and the capacity for evil that resides within us all. As long as her story is told, the questions it raises will continue to haunt us, serving as a grim reminder of the fragility of our perceptions of safety and normalcy. Thanks so much for tuning in today, friends. We hope you enjoyed our discussion. If there's anyone special you'd love us to delve into next time, drop their name in the comments below. We're always eager to hear your thoughts, so don't hesitate to share them. And remember, your support means the world to us. So go ahead, give that like button a smash, hit subscribe, and spread the word by sharing this video with your circle. Until we meet again, keep the curiosity alive. With love, The Midnight Society.